know to stop when you see a school bus with its lights on and the stop signs activated, but what about when you're on a divided highway? Do you still have to stop? That's the topic of Pat Taney's Good Question Report this week. Liz Clark asked Pat, do both sides of a divided highway have to stop for school buses? And in Tom Berger Drive Ridge Road Daily. Question is, divided road like this, you have a school bus stopped on the other side, you're coming in the opposite direction. Do you know what to do? Well, well let me think about it a minute. <laughs> no, I guess I don't. Yeah. I guess I would stop. So who's right? We went to Tony Green. I am a driver trainer, safety coordinator for Greece Central School District. For the answer. So do you have to stop? Yes, you do. Yep, even if headed in the opposite direction. If you weren't sure about that, you're certainly not alone. Check this out. Red sign. Now, what's happening over there? All these cars are continually passing by my reds. Now, behind me, they're stopping. They don't get it that even with their median, they have a responsibility to stop. So, why exactly? Some might say it's extreme. Your response to that? Michael D'Alessandro is director of transportation for Greece Schools. I understand that, and I see the frustration on motorists' faces often, but unfortunately, children are unpredictable. And the reason for that is to protect them if they suddenly were to dart out into traffic. And many do, especially younger kids. So, to sum it up, when you meet a bus with the reds on in either direction, it's mandatory to stop. Well, we want you to not get a ticket, so just so you know, you have to stop. Yes. You have okay, to thank stop. you. <laughs> thank you. All right, you know, that was Pat Taney reporting. He also found out the drivers do and can be ticketed for breaking the rules. Those tickets are not cheap either. 250 bucks for the first offense. Now, if you have a good question for Pat, you can send him an email at goodquestion at whec.com.